Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Here is the question. The magnetic field of a plane electromagnetic wave is given by B equal to B naught into bracket cos Kz minus omega t i plus B1 cos Kz plus omega t j unit vector where B naught is given 3 into 10 raise to power minus 5 tesla and B1 equal to 2 into 10 raise to power minus 6 tesla the RMS value of the force experienced by a stationary charge equal to 10 raise to power minus 4 coulomb and z equal to 0. The closest to here we have given four options option a 0 0.1 newton, option b 3 into 10 raise to power minus 2 newton, c 0 0.6 newton, option d 0 0.19 newton. And this question is asked j means 2019. Now, here this is relation based question. I mean to say here you have given B in two components, I components and J components. Let us first we have to find out the magnetic field, net magnetic field. Then we have to know that E equal to B into C, where C is the speed of light and then F equal to Q into E. Okay. And we know that F RMS equal to F by root 2. This is the key point and this is the working process. Okay. Now, as per our working process, let us first we have to find out net magnetic field. Net magnetic field equal to root B naught square plus B1 square. Now substitute the value of B naught that is 3 into 10 raise to power minus 5 whole square and uh, B1 that is 2 into 10 raise to power minus 6 square. Okay. Let's see how we can calculate without calculator which is very easy. That is 3 square is 9, 10 raise to power minus 10 plus 2 square that is 4 into 10 raise to power minus 12. Okay. So now here it can be written as 9 into 10 raise to power minus 10 plus 4 into 10 raise to power minus 10 into 10 raise to power minus 12. Okay. Now you can see that 10 raise to power minus 10 get common. Now it is 9 and you can see that is 4 and 10 raise to power minus 2. 10 raise to power minus 2 means 1 upon 100. Okay, so 10 to the power minus 10 taken out from the root, now it becomes 10 to the power minus 5. So 4 ones are 4, that is 25, 25 nines are 2, 25 plus 1 upon 25. Now you can see that 225 plus 1, 226 but 1 can be neglected. So 225 is a root, that is 15 and 25 that's root is 5. So 5 from the 5, 5 is a 15. So 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla that is the net magnetic field okay so that, let's see how the calculation will be easy become easy okay now as for the relation between the electric field and uh, magnetic field that is e equal to b into c where c is the speed of light so now substitute the value of uh, b 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 and the speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8. Okay. So my multiply 3 into 3 that is 9 into 10 to the power 3 volt per meter. So here you get the electric field and then you get the F. How you can get the F? F equal to Q into E. And what is the charge is given? Here you have given charge that is 10 to the power minus 4 into 9 into 10 raise to power 3. So you get 9 into 10 raise to power minus 1. It means 0 0.9. That is F Newton. Okay. So now here F RMS root mean square value of force that is F by root 2. So here 0 0.9 and root 2, what is the value of root 2? 1.414 and you get approximately 0 0.6 Newton. So here 
you can see that that is option C is correct. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely for your success, all the credit goes to your hard work. But if my video will help for your success, then I will consider myself lucky. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.